You know, for me, from, from the beginning, uh, you know, from when I really started to enjoy playing baseball, it's never felt like a job. Every time I talk to kids about playing baseball, I say the most important thing is to have fun. And, and if you don't, you know, if there comes a day when you're really not enjoying it anymore, then you shouldn't just play anymore. And so for me, I don't really have to do anything on a daily basis to get myself ready. I'm, I mean, I'm excited to get up and go to the ballpark every day. Probably the, the, the best part of my day is, is just being with my teammates and, and being able to uh, call yourself part of a team um, and, and just develop those more personal relationships and, and you know, get to know guys um, on a different level out, uh, you know, outside and away from the baseball field. I think that, that having a routine is the fundamental uh, kind of cornerstone that every aspiring baseball player, you know, whether you're eight years old or you're 28, I mean, you should still have a routine, you know, something solid on a daily basis that you can do. And I think that, you know, for me, just, you know, there are certain things that I'll go into spring training trying to accomplish and, and that becomes part of what I'm, I'm doing that year. Overall, you know, when I have a routine that I know is, is pretty concrete, that kind of takes away all of the pressure of performance, of, you know, worrying about what other people are doing, worrying about if um, I'm doing the right things um, because you know I, I can lean on that routine and, and not have to worry about anything else. I would say to young players, as far as routine goes, do something that is fun uh, for you. I hit off the tee every day to start. Uh, I enjoy it. I go in there um, pretty much by myself every day. That, that kind of starts my day off because I know I'm going to hit the ball good off the tee. So, and then I, you know, it just kind of makes me feel better. And then I can go into, you know, whether it's flips or taking live batting practice, hitting off of a machine or, you know, whatever number of drills I feel like I'm going to need to do that day. But um, just, just start with something that is a, kind of a feel good and, and you, you can work into getting, you know, not only getting loose, but starting to hit the ball off, off the barrel. And then really just focus on one or two other specific things that are important to your game, important to you as, as a player, and, and really just try to understand what you need. I've told our hitting coach um, from, from day number one, you know, when he asked me what, uh, what I look for in a hitting coach, and I really said that you just want somebody that's gonna make you feel confident. You know, you, you want somebody that's gonna tell you how good you are and just kind of, I mean, really, kind of boost your ego, you know, hitting hitting is tough. It's not something that uh, that everybody can do really well, but you can work towards it. And there's stuff that you can do. And, and in the cage, especially, you want to be able to do something that is gonna make you feel good and, and make you feel like you're, you're getting better.